In this problem here, we're given a distribution that's not uniform, and we're going to be looking at areas, but in this, they tell us all the areas right here underneath. And all we need to do is use those values and answer all these questions down here. All right, first one, probability x is greater than 2. Well, you have to look at the x-axis. Here's 2, so I want to look to the right of 2. And it, on my graph, there's nothing to the right of 2. So the area of the graph over here is 0. So that's going to be the answer to the first part here. And it's not letting me erase. Fantastic. Whoa, that's too much erasing. All right. Next up. All right, probability x is less than or equal to 0 0.4. Now, on these continuous, the equal doesn't matter. Uh, only for continuous. For discrete, the equal absolutely matters. But continuous, it doesn't matter. All right, here's 0.4. And we see the area to the left of that is 0 0.17. And that eventually, when I uncover this, is what we have here. All right, next up, we're looking at greater than 0 0.4. So same number, but we're looking to the right of this. So let me get that out of here. To the right of this, everything over here. You can stop at 2 because there's nothing past 2. So all I have to do is add these numbers together. Uh, if you're good with addition, you probably don't even need to use Excel. However, I'm not good at adding. All right, 0.83. All right, you probably realize that I could have gotten that number a second way. The two numbers here added together equal 1. So I could have, because this was less than 0 0.4, greater than 0 0.4, they're complementary. So if you compute either one, you can get the other one by doing 1 minus. That's the complement. Next up, probability between 0 and 8 here. So greater than 0, less than 8. Let's clean this up. So we're going... There's not a number zero written here, but you do have the vertical axis, which uh, is going to happen when x is zero. Uh, so zero through eight. So we want all this area here. Just add those two numbers together, and you'll get that value all uncover. It's not terribly exciting to do this, so I'll skip it on Excel. Uh, all right, next up gets a little bit tricky here. So x is less than 0 0.4 or more than 1.6. So that's less, here's 0 0.4, less than that is to the left of that, and 1.6 or greater is to the right of that. So there's two pieces, oh come on, two pieces of area here. You have to add those two together, and that is 0.25, I hope. Look at that, all right, crushing these numbers. All right, last one. This is also two numbers. X is less than 0.4 and greater than 1.6. But remember I said it doesn't matter, the equals doesn't actually matter. So this should be, ah. There's an important word in between them that I just completely skipped over. If the word was or, it would be exactly what we had above. But because this is and, I need both x to be less than 0 0.4 and, gra and greater than 1.6, which is not possible. You can't be less than that small number and greater than the large number. Uh, so there's no chance or probability zero of this occurring. So let me go ahead and reveal that. There's no part G here, but if part G asked me for in between, from between 0 0.4 to 1.6, I would just add all these three together, and you will find questions that are going to say between two numbers. Uh, this one was between two numbers, just happened one of them was zero, so it's kind of easy. Uh, but just uh, keep in mind, it can be between two numbers that are not on the extreme values here.